Hey guys, Khalil El Ghul here with Glasshouse Real Estate. And today we are talking about the VIP waitlist. This is the VIP waitlist as it relates to new construction communities. Over the last year, I've had dozens of clients who have expressed interest in one way or another for a new home community that is not quite selling homes at that time for various reasons. Perhaps it's a brand new community that has not opened up yet. Maybe they're currently sold out of existing lots and they're releasing lots on a scheduled basis. Or there's a new phase coming up and we're waiting for that new phase to be available so that we could purchase a home in that part of the neighborhood, for example. Okay, and I give my clients the same three tips every time. And they go like this. Be proactive, set up an email alert, and follow the rules. Okay, so let's back up and, and go over each one of those tips and how do we actually implement it in a way where we, uh, we've had tons of success. So being proactive. Over the last year, I've really had to dig into my relationships, my connections, and call in a lot of favors. We're in a really competitive market here in Northern Virginia. And, and over the last 15 years, I've worked with every major builder at least a couple times over. When we get a lead on, on a new home community or we're waiting for more information, we're not just gonna sit back and wait for them to, to, to reach out to us or send us information. We are going to proactively figure out who do we know in this organization? Is it a salesperson from, some, from another community? Is it a loan officer? Is it a president? Is it a construction manager? Whomever it might be, we're gonna go back and look into our past relationships and say, hey, what can you tell me about this new home community? Who's going to be working there? Who is the construction manager? Who is the loan officer on the project? Any and all information that we can gather is going to be helpful in one capacity or the other. It's hard to say how, but you don't know until you start digging. Look. Most of the people who are on these wait lists, they fill out the online form and they just wait. They're not proactive. They may not be qualified. They may not be seriously interested. But if you are going to just sit back and wait, that's the lot of uh, buyers that you are going to be associated with. And we don't want that. We want them to know who we are. We want to have a positive relationship with whomever might open that community in the future and be proactive. I mean, it's, it's the smallest things. It's, it's understanding when do those emails get sent out? When will you start taking appointments? Who is the decision maker? How far along are permits? You know, having all that information will lead to success in one way or the other. I've had several clients in the last year be one of the first two or three buyers in any given community, despite these long wait lists with thousands of names on them and, and huge demand. I have about a, a dozen examples of how just getting a little bit of information that's not available to the public has helped us immensely. For one community, for example, we found out that the construction team meets every Tuesday, and I'm talking about upper management. And on those Tuesdays, they would make decisions and send emails out later that afternoon. We got a heads up that it sounded like they were going to finally accept appointments and they were going to release those appointments this Tuesday. So what do we do? Did we just wait for that email? No, we called ahead and we made an appointment before the email went out and it worked. I mean, it doesn't work every time. There's no guarantees for success, but being proactive will set you apart from the crowd. Step number two, this one's really important. Folks who have followed through with this second tip are the ones who've had the most success. Set an email alert so that you get a push notification every time that, e that builder or that sender, whomever it might be, sends you an email. If you don't know how to do it, Google it, watch a YouTube video, when you get an email from that builder or from that salesperson and whomever's sending out the communication on behalf of that community, you want to get a push notification on your phone. It is hugely advantageous to see those emails before anyone else does, especially when they start taking appointments. I can't stress enough how quickly appointment slots tend to fill up in these situations. So the builder will say, hey, congratulations, we're finally open. We are now accepting appointments for the next 20 lots, whatever it might be that's available. Hit this link in the calendar, fill out this pre-approval application, and select a date to come in and meet with our sales team. I am not exaggerating when I say those appointments tend to fill up in minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. In the beginning, before I, before I started giving clients these tips, they would open up the email in about 30 minutes after it was received and say, I didn't get an appointment for two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. And you know, who knows what lots will be available at that point? Who knows how much the price would have increased at that point? So I said, you know what, that this is, this is a big disadvantage. So I started telling everyone from that point forward, hey, 
When you get an email from them, it should pop up on your phone. When you see the email that says, hey, we're accepting appointments, go in there right away and select an appointment ASAP. Don't wait five minutes. Don't wait till you get to where you're going. Don't get off the phone. Just do it now. Two weeks ago, I had someone do that. They were the second appointment in the community. She had a family member who also wanted to live in that community who did not have the email alert set up. She filled out the form about 30 minutes later and didn't have an appointment for two more weeks. Okay, and if you know anything about new home communities, they tend to raise the price as they sell homes. Generally, the first few sales are the lowest price sales. So you get, you get two, two big advantages by being early. You get into the community first, so you get to pick the lot that best suits your needs. You have no limits on elevation, model, colors, things along those lines because no one else has picked anything yet. And you lock in the low pricing. Builders will raise the price after every certain amount of sales. Sometimes every two sales, three sales, after every fifth deposit. Every builder is different. They make their decisions based on their particular uh, situation. Price increases don't always look the same, right? It could be an increase in base price. It could be an increase in lot premium. Maybe the price stays the same, but they start taking it off some standard features. So maybe the first got, first few people that went in there got a free finished basement and the people that came in behind them did not. So it's really critical that when you do get a chance to make an appointment that you're not you're not opening you're not getting that email 30 45 minutes after it's it's received. You're getting it instantly. You're getting online, you're making the appointment and it's going to save you a lot of money and time. And tip number three, follow the rules. The builders tend to put some sort of guidelines or checkpoints in along the way that affords you an advantage should you follow those rules. It's all about relationships in these, in these industries. It really is. I, I've been in a position where my client did not get an appointment in that first one or two weeks. But because we had an existing relationship with the loan officer and the sales rep, and we did our application, we said, hey, if anyone before us cancels their appointment, please call us. We'll be there within a couple hours. We're close by, we're local, and we're ready to go. The very next day, there was a cancellation. The salesperson called me, hey, hey Khalil, my two o'clock canceled today. If you can come in today, you could have that appointment. So we ended up being the number six appointment in this new home community. My client got a fantastic home at a fantastic price. And every week since then, the price has gone up. And it's, so it's a huge, huge advantage. Now look, it doesn't always work out. I've had clients do everything I just said, and they're just like, ah, didn't work. No special treatment. We're, we're, we're number 25, 26 on the list. It is what it is. But over the last 12 months, I've sold 18 new construction homes, and, and they're not easy. Many of those folks did exactly what I just said, and it's paid off big time. If you do find yourself in that situation with a VIP waitlist, be proactive, set up email alerts, and follow the rules. It'll give you a huge advantage. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you come up with any questions or you wanna chat further, all my contact information is below. Have a great rest of your day.